Hello friends, this video binomial theorem part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched binomial theorem part 1 to part 14. This is the example where we have to find the coefficient of terms. Here we have to find the coefficient of a to the power 4 in expansion on this using binomial theorem. We know how to expand this, we know how to expand this. So we'll expand this first and multiply. So we'll say 1 plus 2a to the power 4. This guy is equal to 4c0 into 2a to the power 4 plus 4c1 to a to the power 3 plus 4c2 to a to the power 2 plus 4c3 to a to the power 1 plus 4c4 to a to the power 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's increasing and this is 4c1, 2, 3. Correct. 4c0 is equal to 1 and 2a to the power 4 is equal to 16a4. 4c1 is equal to 4 and 2a cube is equal to 8a cube plus 4c2 is equal to let's find this 4 permutation by 2 factorial into 2 factorial this is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 factorial this cancel this two, 6 this is 6 into 4a square plus 4c3 again is equal to 4 into 4a plus this is 1, 2, 3, this is 4, 4c4 four four is equal to 1, 2a to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we have got this, this is 2a actually. So what we have got is 16a4 plus 32a cube plus 24a square plus 8a plus 1. Similarly, let's expand this to 2 minus a to the power 5. So, if we expand this, this becomes we'll do like this 5c0, 5c0, 2 to the power 5 minus a to the power 0 plus 5c1. We can decrease the power of 2 and increase the power of minus a plus 5c2 will decrease the power of 2 again and will increase the power of a plus 5c3 will again decrease the power of 2 and increase the power of minus a plus 5c4 will again decrease the power of 2 and increase the power of minus a plus 5c4 will decrease the power of 2 0 and increase the power of a to 5. 5c0 is 1, 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32 plus 5c1 is 5, let's say 1 into 32, 5c1 is equal to 5 into 2 to the power 4 is 16. a to the power minus 1 is minus a. So I'll make this minus. Plus 5c2. Let's find 5c2. 5 per factorial by 2 factorial, 3 factorial. This 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. Cancel this. This 2 to cancel 10. 5c2 is 10. 10 into 2 to the power 3 is 8 into minus a square is a square so it becomes plus here 5c3 5c3 is also equal to 10 10 and 2 square is equal to 4 and a cube minus a cube is equal to minus a cube so this is a cube and I'll just keep it minus plus 5c4 is 5 into 2 to the power 1 and a to the power 4 is a4 positive plus 5 c5 this is 5c5 5c5 is 1 1 to the power 0 is 1 
into a to the power 5 and minus. So this becomes minus. So what we get here is 32 minus 80a plus 80a square minus a cube 40 a cube plus 10 a 4 minus a to the power 5 that is what we got now we have to multiply these two so coefficient of a to the power 4 in 1 plus 2 a to the power 4 into 2 a minus 5 so we will multiply these two so instead of multiplying everything what we will do we will just try to multiply those where we are getting a to the power 4 as factorial so let's arrange this in this fashion 16a4 plus 32a cube plus 24a square plus 8a plus 1 here we will write the other one that is 32 minus 880a plus 80a square minus 40a cube plus 10a4 minus 5. So if you observe how I have written, I have the first expression I have written in descending order of the power of a and the second I have written in ascending order. To make sure that this and two, if you multiply these two, you get a to the power 4. If you multiply these two, you get a to the power 4 because we are interested only a to the power 4. That's why I have arranged this in this fashion to make my life easy. So if you multiply a to the power 4, uh, 16 a to the power 4 with 32, you get a to the power 4. But if you multiply this with a, this it's with any of the other values, what you get is not a to the power 4. So we'll just multiply these, these, these and this because we are interested only in the coefficient of a to the power 4. So the coefficient of a to the power 4, this guy will be 16 into 32. This will give you a to the power 4 minus because this is minus minus 32 into 80 this also becomes e to the power 4 plus this into this 24 into 80 minus because 1 is minus 8 into 40 and this e to the power 4 into 10 plus 10 into 1 so these things this all gives e to the power 4 as the coefficient none other things will give you e to the power 4 because if you multiply let's suppose any other number 1 with 32 you won't get 30, a to the power 4 1 with 80 you won't get a to the power 4 1 with a square you won't get a to the power 4 only when you multiply 1 with a to the power 4 you get a to the power 4 so if you solve this you get minus 4 38 a to the power 4 so this is the coefficient of a to the power 4 very simple what we have done we have expanded these two equations and then we have arranged in such way that product of uh, this two are 1 to a to the power 4. So we have written the first one in the ascending order, second one in descending order. We can do other way around also. We can write first in ascending and second in descending order of the power of a. And then we have clubbed this. We have multiplied 16 with 32 because this is the only multiplication of these two uh, terms which gives a to the power 4. Similarly, we have multiplied only those terms which are necessary. We can do all the terms, but that will make our life a little difficult. It will take some more time to solve. To solve this question is uh, faster. We have done like this and we have got the answer. Let's go with this one example where we have to find the rth term from the end. So we are asked to find rth term from the end of the expansion 1 plus x to the power a. So here total term is n plus 1, we know, because since there are n terms, n in the exponent the power of x plus a is n so total number of terms is n plus 1 so going by the logic that this is like this first plus second plus third plus fourth plus that that dash plus nth plus n plus 1th term so this will be the total term so the first term from the last is so I'll say from last first is equal to n plus 1 term the second term from the last is this one that is 
nth term. The third term from the last will be n minus one -th term. This will be n minus one -th term. Clearly. So if you see the rth term, rth term from the last will be n minus r plus two -th term. Please note. You can remember this also. The first term is equal to n plus two term. The second term is equal to n term. The third term is equal to n minus one. Similarly, the rth term is equal to n minus r plus two. We can validate this formula also. We can put r is equal to one. We get n plus one. n minus one plus two is equal to n plus one. We get r is equal to two. We put r is equal to two. We get n minus two plus two is equal to n. We put r is equal to three. We get n minus three plus two is equal to n minus one. So this is the formula for rth term from the n. Now we have been told that find the rth term from the n. So rth term is equal to t of n minus r plus two. But we know the formula of t of r plus one only or t of k plus one only. So what we will do? We will write this equation as t of n minus r plus one. Sorry, n minus r plus one. Plus one. So this is the form t of k plus one, and this is nothing but t n of n minus r plus two. Correct? Because rth term is n minus r plus two. We have found this, and we have to find t of n minus r plus two. And t of n minus r plus two is nothing but t of n minus r plus one plus one. Why we have done this? Because we know the expansion of t of k plus one. So here k is n minus r plus one. So t of k plus one. For x plus eight to the power n is nothing but n c k x to the power k eight to the power n minus k. Similarly, we will replace k with n minus r plus one. So this will become t of n c n minus r plus one. Correct. X to the power k x to the power n minus r plus one. And e to the power n minus n minus r plus one because we have replaced n with k. So what we have got is n c n minus r plus one x to the power n minus r plus one e to the power r minus one. So that is the Let's see what we have done here. So we have observed that the first term from the last is n plus one, second is n, third is n minus one, and rth term is n minus r plus two. Please note this because we'll be use this to solve other questions of similar type. So nth rth term is nothing but n minus r plus twoth term from the first. If you note this, and then we have found n. Minus r plus two -th term. We got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.